I'm Joe Beretta. I'm Lee Newton. And this is 20 Minutes or Less. So Philip DeFranco covered this yesterday on the PDS, but we wanted to cover it too because we feel like it's a really important topic and we wanted to give you our opinions, some more information, and we wanted to get your thoughts on it. So here we go. A 44-year-old repeat sex offender will be South Korea's first man to undergo a legally required chemical castration. The country recently adopted the law and the man, who is simply known as Park, is a more than fitting first candidate for the neutering because he raped multiple children over an 18-year period. Park, who is a rapist and a pedophile, is set to be released from prison in July. He made the unanimous decision to castrate a simple one as he is determined to be more than expected to prey upon children again. I guess instead of just throwing him in a box, securing it with thousands of chains, and throwing that into the ocean, the Justice Ministry's Forensic Psychiatry deliberate committee decided to go through the castration route. Pump him full of all kinds of chemicals. Dude is a monster. He molested and raped four girls, all ages 9 to 10. He's kidnapped children and he's finishing a 10-year sentence for the attempted rape of another 10-year-old girl. He's getting off easy, if you ask me. And if they're not going to keep him under constant supervision, they should take a guillotine or fire or a fire guillotine to his genitals. That's kind of the route they're going, but they're just replacing the guillotine and fire with hormone suppressants that'll cripple his libido and reduce the production of male testosterone. They'll be injected with a suppressant once every three months for the next three years. He'll also be required to wear an ankle bracelet. An, an ankle bracelet, so he'll still have his penis. Yep. Not good enough. South Korea is the first country in Asia to administer the punishment, and they joined Germany, Sweden, and some U.S. states in the practice. The law states that sex offenders over the age of 19 who have sexually offended against children under the age of 16 and are diagnosed with pedophilia can be subject to such treatment. The law went into effect in 2011 after numerous rapists reoffended, resulting in a public demand for harsher penalties. Support for the harsh means of prevention was incredibly high. An opinion survey firm found 75% of 700 people polled calling for physical or chemical castration for child molesters. I feel like I'm on board with this. You have to be pure evil to do that to a child. And my initial reaction when I hear these things is one of anger and revenge. But some experts point out that castration won't magically cure a pedophile because the sickness isn't a physical one, it's mental. And I also agree with that 100%, so I'm getting in a weird place because it's a dark disease of the mind and the heart, but I want to hurt these people so bad. And some doctors point out the potential health risks associated with castration, like the loss of bone density and heart disease. And other people believe the practice to be a mutilation of the human body and massive violation of human rights. But didn't these guys violate the human rights of children? If the offense doesn't call for life imprisonment, then there should be measures taken to protect the innocent. And we're talking about the most innocent of innocent here. We're talking about children. If these measures are extreme, then so be it. And it also brings up the subject of women sex offenders. Are they going to be subject to the same set of penalties? If there are extreme ramifications for men, will women face the same consequences? Like it or not, as of now, ladies that commit the same sex crimes as men definitely don't face the same level of penalty and public scrutiny. So. There's just so many things to think about when it comes to chemical castration and consequences for rapists and pedophiles, so I just want to throw it to you guys. What do you think is an appropriate consequence for convicted child rapists and pedophiles? Let us know in the comments down below. And don't forget to click like and subscribe button, click the annotation down below, or just go to sourcefed.com for our five daily stories and every other story we've ever done. I'm Lee Newton. I'm Joe Beretta. We'll see you at the next story.